My mom abandoned me with a radio when I was two, and I just, I started humanizing it. And uh, what can I say? I've been going through therapy ever since. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you do have to have a little bit of sense of humor to deal with radios. They are very much like old people. They can be cranky, they can act up, they all have their own idiosyncrasies. I currently own about 165 radios. There's the challenge of fixing it. There's the enjoyment of having fixed something properly and of course having a working radio at the end of it all. This is a 1958 Transoceanic. I find coming into my collection to be a nice drug-free escape from the reality of high-tech life. It's a very expensive toaster that was hand -built. I also uh, collect toasters, small arms, pens. I collect whatever, whatever strikes my fancy, but most of my bigger collections are in those categories. It's an addiction. It's, it's, it's a genetic quirk, for lack of a better explanation, that you either have or you don't. And people that don't have it, you can't explain it to them. When I move into a house eventually, I'll move them into a better display location and ho hopefully keep it alive because unfortunately now the hobby is dominated primarily by older people who are just passing away. It's not being passed on to the younger people, unfortunately. You want the code monkeys again?